All right, so at the belt, which is at this curve down here, we're going to put in a rectangle. And then in the rectangle, you're gonna do uh, four triangles. You're gonna do two on the sides that are pointing at each other. You're gonna do two vertically like this. Here we go. Okay, around that, we're gonna go one like that and like this. And we're just going to bump this out and bump that out just a smidge, both sides. Okay, and we're going to put in some detail here, just some lines like that. Okay. Now moving back up the torso. All right, you guys are going to give me like this and like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make those a little bit bigger. Let's make those bigger. Bigger. Yeah, that's better. Bigger. And then inside that, you're going to do that again. A little bit more jagged on the inside. And I'm just going to make a little, a smidge of a little, like, curve with those. A little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to raise the vertical line down his chest. It goes all the way down to the pelvis. Get rid of that. All right. I'm going to put in a little, like, angular U, which is going to connect like that. All right. I'm going to put in two diagonal lines right there and there, which are going to kind of go like this. Well, that's hard. If that touches, just make the make this U smaller. So if that's too close to you, just erase out that U, make it smaller to give yourself a little bit more space. I'm gonna go like this, and like this, and like this, and like that. Okay, and then at the neckline, we're gonna go V, V, one, Two, one, two. Looks pretty good. Okay. The arms. All right, just let's go to the shoulder blades first because these are essentially done. Put like that. And you're going to go like that. On both. Okay. Now the arms. Um, down the middle of the arms, we're going to really carefully erase the inside. Anywhere this these lines are touching, we're gonna get rid of. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There is that. Okay, now with the glove line, you're gonna do a curve and a curve. You'll notice the curve is coming out of the shape ever so slightly, and we're going to connect and kind of connect, and then we're going to carefully just erase away. Just so we have a little bit of a bump out for the glove. All right, so we're gonna just draw in the outline of the biceps. So literally all I'm doing is tracing the shape we put in. I'm also putting in some degree of curves for the bicep and shoulder. Okay, at the glove lines, do two curves there and there. I'm gonna do two lines and two lines, all right? Fists. All right, so fist. We're gonna do an oval and an oval. And watch how I do this. I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna do two more. One, two. Those are more complete ovals. One, two. I'm gonna do a little bit of a curve around here and a little bit of a curve around here on both. Okay, and then we're gonna connect, draw it all together. There we go, boom. There is our fists. You put in a line right here if you want and a line right there if I want. Okay, cool.
I leave the claws to last. Let's go to the pelvis and legs. Actually, check that. Let's go to the knees. Okay. We're going to do one, two, one, two. We're going to go kind of like this and kind of like this on both. All right. I'm going to raise the connection point at the pelvis here and here. All right. I'm going to draw in some wrinkling. Two curves, maybe two lines right there and there. That looks normal. Okay. Down the side of his body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Line, line. And now, here's where this is going to get, this is a little hard, because this is a little bit with wrinkling. We're going to go into this and into the into the first wrinkle. I'm going to offset the line underneath that. And I'm going to kind of just bring it down like this and bring it down like that. Almost done. Legs. Okay. We're going to do curve, 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 curve. And line, 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 line. For the shoes, give it a sole, give it a sole. Like this, like that. All right, there's Wolverine. Let's get some claws in. So between the knuckles, it's actually easiest if you start out with the middle claw. Because the middle claw always goes with the uh, the direction of the wrist. So, make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to make them pointy at the end. Okay. Once you get the middle claw in, then you can go to the next knuckle over. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slightly alter the angle on both sides. Two... Cool, there it is. All right. Um, I'm going to ink this now using a Sharpie, okay? Um, I'm going to cut to that. All right, so we're back. I've now inked it. I fully colored in the cowl parts, so I went right over the little detail lines we put in there. I also colored in some parts of the boots and some parts of the shoes and then the X on the belt. This is going to be what you photograph to upload for the grade. You're going to photograph it, upload it to Google Classroom. Again, you're only doing this if you're, for some reason, missed class and you're doing this at home to catch up. This is the analog version. Otherwise, you should be doing this digitally in Procreate like everyone else is doing, which I also have a video for, but that's more so if you're in class. Anyway, hand this in. If you have any questions, email me.